Hello vendors, in this video we are going to learn how we can create satisfying app using MIT App Inventor. So let's create this app. So click on start new project and my project name is satisfying app. Okay. Now that's our screen. I'm going to use your one canvas, this one and make this one with and hide as fill parent. And now I'm going to use here some balls like this one. And let me just make that canvas background color to black. And let me just make that ball background color to something else like orange and make this radius at least 10. And now let me just make a copy paste. Okay. Let's make it like seven. Okay. And just change all of them like this, move them. And uh, what do we need to do? We need to just change uh, color. So let me just make that color to something like orange to green. Now what we need to do, we need to use your one timer. So click on sensor and you find clock, this one, just drag and drop this clock here and make sure this should be disabled. Okay. And uh, this should be also disabled both. Now go to the block section. So whenever someone click on that ball, it means whenever someone touch down that ball. Okay. So we have to increase the radius. So click on any component. We are not going to use the one by one ball. Otherwise we need to write a lot of code. What I will do, I will use your any ball. So you'll find your option that when any ball touch down, okay, when any ball touch down, then we need to increase the radius. So for that, I will create one variable here. So initialize variable and that one is component, component and that component, I will define any component like wall one, just simply define one component here, just drag and drop this. And this is defined ball one. Now, whenever ball touch down, then we will set that component, set component to that component. It means whenever I touch the ball two, touch down ball two. So this will automatically set here ball two. Now what I need to do, I need to perform action on my ball two. So how we can do that? So simply I will use here clock timer and whenever that run on that, we need to increase the radius of that ball. So any ball, Okay, so you will find here the set ball radius option. So this one, so set ball radius and the component is or that one, get component, this one. So just get that component here and we need to just set that. So just use maths here and you'll find the plus this one and we need to get the current component radius. So we just need to use here any ball and you'll find the radius of that ball is like that one. And we just need to call it here and the radius of which wall that uh, get component, this one global component radius. Plus we need to just make it a uh, one or five, whatever you want. So just make it here. So I will make this one five. Cool. And whenever someone touch down, uh, sorry, touch up. So what I will do here, so click on any ball component and you will find the option of touch up this one. Okay. Touch up. Then we will uh, stop that timer. So first of all, we need to enable the timer. So on the touchdown, we will set that component, but we need to enable the timer. So you'll find here the timer option, this one clock, and you will see the set clock timer enabled, this one. And this should be true like this. Okay. And uh, this one is true. And on that, just copy paste this one and just here. And on that, we need to just make it false like this. So whenever we just touch down, this will be true and this will be a uh, fire and this one is for false. Okay, cool. Now we need to destroy and we need to make uh, that uh, component radius to uh, default. Okay. We need to make this a 10 or 20 uh, in the default radius. So we can do that. So we will use your uh, flung option and you will find here whenever we uh, flung any ball, it means whenever we dragged, whenever we just touch that, here you see event handler called when a fling gesture. Okay. So quick swap. So what I will do on that, uh, on that action. Okay. So on that action, what I will do, I will set that radius of my default component. So like suppose that one, okay, the get component and the radius, I'm going to make this radi radius is like 10 or 20, something like that, like this. Cool. To go to the design section and you just need to change the timer interval to uh, hundred or you can just make it 10. Okay. Now let me just run this and how it's work. Let me just check this. Click that. See, it's cool. It's satisfying. And just uh, click that to destroy it. It's done again. And just check that it's too much. Like see, you can increase any ball like see and just destroy them. 
all of them like this just check that cool so yeah this look amazing like see it's super amazing i love it so yeah that's the overall satisfying app okay that we have created using ml cap inventor if you need any help on that so just comment on the video so i'll try my best to solve the problems so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye